Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a look at the example where the charge on the outside cylinder is different in concentration or density than the charge on the inside cylinder. So the linear charge density on the outside is minus 3 lambda, the inside is plus 1 lambda. So what would be the potential difference now outside those two cylinders? So now we know the electric field outside will not be equal to zero. Matter of fact, the electric field in, on the outside, so E on the outside, will simply be equal to the electric field caused by the inside, which is going to be based on this formula right here, lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon sub naught, that's a 2, uh, times 1 over r in the r direction, and then plus the electric field contributed by the outside cylinder, which is going to be lambda divided by 2, oh, not lambda, it's going to be now minus 3 lambda, isn't it? Based upon that, so minus 3 lambda, divided by 2 pi epsilon sub naught, 1 over r times the unit vector. So the sum of those two will then be minus 2 lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon sub naught times 1 over r, Oop, that's an r, supposed to be an r, let me try that again, there we go, times the unit vector. Okay, now we can try to find the potential difference between any two points outside the second cylinder. Again, with the assumption is that we cannot assume that V equals zero, the potential equals zero at infinity. That doesn't work for cylindrical conductors. Okay, so knowing this, knowing the relationship between the change in potential and the electric field, because it is a function of the electric field, times the distance traveled in the same direction as the electric field, we can then say that the change in potential going from B to A, so we're going from a distance farther out to distance closer by, is going to be equal to the integral of all the little dVs going from position B to position A, which is equal to the negative of the integral from B to A of the electric field times dr. Now, why did I put a negative in there? Well, typically, by definition, when you go farther out, the electric field strength will decrease when you have a positive charge caused in the electric field as R increases, that's why you need a negative there. But since now the tables are turned, since the predominant charge in here is negative, we know that the potential will increase as you go farther out, but that will be negated by the negative of the charge right there. We still need a negative here to make it all come out correctly. So this is going to be equal to minus the integral from B to A of the minus 2 lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon sub naught times 1 over r dr. And of course those two negatives will cancel out. We take all the constants and move them outside. So, and the twos will cancel. So this is equal to the integral of, oop, I didn't take my constants out. Let me do that. So the twos cancel. That would be lambda divided by pi epsilon sub naught times the integral from b to a of 1 over r dr, which of course who knows the natural log of r, so this is equal to lambda divided by, oop, lambda divided by pi epsilon sub naught times the natural log of r evaluated from b to a. All right, let's go ahead and plug those values in. So this is equal to lambda divided by pi epsilon sub naught times, when we plug in the upper limit, we get the natural log of A, minus when we plug in the lower limit, the natural log of B, and finally, we can go ahead and simplify that, knowing the rules of logarithms, so this is equal to lambda divided by, oop, not 2 pi, because the 2 canceled out, so we have pi epsilon sub naught, times the natural log of A divided by B. All right, so this here, would be the potential difference between any two points outside the second cylinder, B being farther away than A. In this case, where we have minus 3 times lambda as the charge density of the outside cylinder and plus 1 lambda as the charge density inside the cylinder, that's where the constant comes from. And notice also, if, a, if B is bigger than A, which it is in this case, a divided by b is a number less than 1. The natural log of a number less than 1 is a negative number, which means the potential difference will decrease when we go from b to a. And that's what we expect because the predominant charge here is negative, which means the potential decreases as you get closer to the negative charge. So that looks like it works. And that's how we do that.